So for my 31 days of horror, today I watched Joyride, the first one. I've never seen it before, never seen the franchise. Um, I'm going to watch the other two eventually as well, but I think it will be after October ends because I'm watching just like the first movie of franchises that I haven't seen. Like I just watched Pumpkinhead as well, which I've never seen the sequels either, but I will review those as well. Um, now, Joyride... I thought it was honestly really good. This was a really awesome horror movie. Or, not horror, it's more of a thriller. It's really not... Like, there's no real killings in the movie. It's just about, like... It's just about these people being stalked by this crazy guy. And I think that it actually is done really, really well. And honestly, that sucks that I took too long to see this. Because watching it, this is a really effective and well-done movie. Um... I like these characters a lot. First off, I'll talk about the characters before anything else. I thought, funny enough, this is the second 2001 Paul Walker movie that had him driving a lot in it. Like, that's funny that this came out the same year as The Fast and the Furious, the first one. So, I liked that, and I thought that was hilarious. Just a hilarious thing to note, that this is the same kind of thing. Where, like, he's driving around a lot. Um, like in the first Fast and the Furious, and they came out the same year. Um, that's funny. And Paul Walker and Steve Zahn are really, really good in this movie. Steve Zahn as well is really fun. Um, and the basic plot of this story is that these two brothers, um, and eventually this friend that they pick up that Paul Walker has a crush on, they eventually pick her up too, and, these, and they are stalked by this truck driver um, who they make who they, like, make fun of and, like, um, give a, do a prank for him on, like, on a CB radio. So, like, they prank the guy and the guy starts following them and stalking them throughout the movie and torturing them by, like, saying stuff like, you gotta do this or this person will die, whatever. I think that's, that's really effective. And the movie is really just very well done. Like, I thought these characters are great. I thought that it's cool that this movie had a lot of moments for the characters to just be characters and to just to shine. Like, I love that in, in horror movies, I can take it or leave it. Like, I can, I can be fine watching a horror movie without character development because if the kills are good, that's fine. But this isn't about that. It's not about kills. It's about just being a thriller. It's about these people being stalked by this guy. And these characters have moments. Like, they have a lot of moments of just talking to each other. And I love whenever they do that in horror movies because you... You get more of a care for them because whenever the craziness starts happening, you care and want them to live and survive. And they do a great job in this with that as well. So I really liked that a lot. I thought this was great with characters and I thought they were interesting and fun. Um, and the movie is just executed very well. Um, and I also liked how they... Like, it's a thriller, but there's a moment that in the movie that makes me laugh my ass off. And it's supposed to be scary, and it doesn't... It's not like it ruins the tone, but it's so silly. And I guess I'm going to say it here. It's not a huge spoiler. But it's like the guy who's following them and stalking them says, like, to Paul Walker and Steve Zahn, he's like, you guys got to go walk into that diner naked and go and order, like, 12 cheeseburgers, like six each. And then, uh... Then they're like, well, we got to do it. They're like, you can't do anything because he's, he's threatening us. So they literally walk into this place naked and go and order burgers. And I just laugh my ass off because it was just so funny seeing them actually do that. I thought they were not going to do that. And it was just a funny surprise seeing them actually go in there naked and just, it cracked me up. Whenever they do, whenever pranks like that happen, it cracks me up. And it makes sense with the, with the guy following them because he says, like, to the girl that, that's in the car while they go in there he says like this is how they can understand how they're on the other side of the prank like because he they pranked the guy so I thought that was really a funny scene but I still enjoyed it a lot um, and I thought that the last act was really cool because it does a great job of again you don't see this guy you literally don't see this guy. You only hear his voice throughout the movie. I think that's awesome. Like, that makes it scarier and more intense because you never see who this guy is, what he looks like. Um, and the the third act, like the end, is really, really intense. And there are moments where it's like a person is on the threat of danger, like where they're just about to get it. And then, like, it's just so great seeing how thrilling it is in moments like that in this movie, especially the ending. The ending is very good. Um... 
So basically, this that's all I could say about this one, but I think that this just really is executed very well. I think these characters are really interesting and fun for this type of movie. Um, I think they've got moments to shine and moments to just talk amongst themselves. I love when they have character moments like this. Um, I love how thrilling it is. I love how you don't see the guy. He, the guy is just on a, the CB radio. He just talks to them. You don't ever see his face. That's great and scary, and I think that these characters are fun. I think the acting's great. Um, I really liked all three of these characters. Um, Paul Walker, Steve Zahn, and Lily Sabisky is I, I mean I don't know if I've seen her in anything else but Lily Sabisky so but she was good too but I just she was the odd man out in terms of the names I don't remember her just because I don't think I've seen her in anything else but maybe I have but um, but overall this was just such a fun thriller I really thought this was a solid great thriller and really enjoyed it um, what have you guys thought of Joy what do you guys think of Joy if you've seen it comment down below and tell me what you think I really dug the hell out of this one. This one was really fun, really awesome. Um, and that's all I can say about this one. And I'll eventually talk about Joyride 2 and 3, which I'm assuming aren't good. But we'll see. Maybe they'll be diamonds in the rough. So, alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, comment, share, subscribe if you, if you feel like you want to. So, thanks so much for watching.